Hello everyone, thank you for joining today's webinar. Uh, my name is Dmitro and today we are going to discuss how to enhance sugar to stay on top of everything. This webinar will take about 20-25 minutes and um, if you have any questions feel free to drop me a line into the chat uh, and I will try to answer the questions at the end of the webinar. Let me say a few words about the company. Uh, Integros uh, is on the CRM market since year 2002. And uh, we made, since that day, more than 150 uh, CRM projects for more than 70 customers from 10 countries. Uh, we do, we are a sugar partner, we do business consulting, we provide CRM system implementation to reach the CRM goals. Uh, we provide custom modules development. Also, we are vendors of uh, the ready to use sugar add-ons and uh, SaaS, uh, SaaS uh, visual designer tool logic builder. Also, uh, our team is experienced in performance tuning. Uh, we, are, we do uh, upgrade service, provide upgrade services. And also uh, we are uh, support, we support and we maintain the CRM systems of our customers. Based on our experience, <clears throat> uh, our experience shows that in some months of uh, the productive and, and proactive CRM usage, uh, CRM users quite often face the challenges that derives from the amount of data uh, uh, that is collected inside the CRM system. So users would like to get an overview of what and how has changed inside the CRM. To understand what dropped out of the site and what is really requires their, their attention. Also, they would like to overview the plans and changes of subsidiaries from the top of the parent level of, their, of that hierarchy. And in addition to the hierarchy, they would like when working with the, the list of records, with the portfolio of records, portfolio of accounts, they would like to get aware of plans and changes within uh, with this that, that happens with this list of, of records. And all this, all of that about the challenge, how to get the important details and uh, with no digging into uh, sugar data. And the approach uh, that helps user to, today we'll discuss the approach that will help user to forget the complexity of the CRM data while being fed by the list of events that matter for him. This approach we're going to talk today uh, provide user with the information not only from his domain but also for the from the contiguous domains the domains the user doesn't belongs to you that overview of the past events that matter for the user helps to save time while getting the whole solid picture of the company to customer interactions and from that understanding of the the status of the affairs between the company and, and and the customers to overview the future the future need to do actions uh, regardless of the nature of these actions and the modules these actions are related to my favorite character uh, for demonstrations is jim because jim is his uh, sales manager and at the same time he's a salesperson He's always short on time for him, especially uh, when it comes to data digging. So that's like I involve him to the demonstrations. Uh, so his working day as a sales manager starts from the overview of uh, everything that is related to the teamwork. So for that, he used uh, the dashboard that helps to stay on top of everything regarding his, the teamwork. On the left side, there is a funnel, 
and on the right side there is the aim of this, this the forecast and the purpose of the interface is to help Jim to clarify quickly what are the changes uh, have been ha had happened within uh, within the funnel what are the key events that that shows him uh, what exactly uh, what are the, the changes and how we reach the current state of the funnel those events could be they are related to the opportunities and the records that are related to those opportunities right revenue line items so in case one of his teammates or for example sarah has shifted uh, the opportunity revenue line item from one quarter to another quarter jim has to be aware of that also in case will included or excluded some particular opportunity from uh, the from the forecast that is the key event for for jim and the operational events that shows him uh, the changes uh, in in opportunity development so if someone has closed the opportunity that's okay and he's able to see which which one the opportunity was closed directly from this interface but in case we'll roll back the opportunity to the previous stage maybe the re, uh, gym uh, can help with this situation and he's able to reach out to will directly from this interface in the context of this key event just to speed up uh, the communication regarding this key event the wheel who's mentioned here uh, is uh, in, in conversation will get notification uh, inside sugar regarding this uh, regarding this this conversation all the conversation uh, Jim and his teammates are participating in uh, are represented on the collaboration dashlet so from this perspective Jim and his teammates, which have the same calibration dashlet, are able to track and also to get information regarding the new messages inside the conversations. So that is how Jim gets aware the current state of uh, the funnel, the conversations regarding the key events that matter for him, and also he is able to overview from this interface the need to do events that are related to the sales team and his domain of sales uh, he can make it with uh, with uh, the reports that shows the next uh, the plan of to do events for the next seven days for for uh, his uh, team and describes the types of these events that could be not only the regular events like scheduled meetings or uh, scheduled uh, scheduled uh, calls or um, tasks that could be also the to-do events that are related to some particular date uh, inside the CRM for example the quote valid date or the revenue line item close date so this date needs the review on time review all these events uh, could be represented uh, in the form of report in front of uh, in front of gym and thanks to the drill down capabilities of the report it is able to have a look at this particular uh, need to do events and the records they are related to. When he overview uh, the next week was to do events of uh, or that has to be performed by his team, he also is able to have a look and overview the overview uh, events, so those planned events that didn't actually happen and to understand who are those teammates that haven't made those events so just to focus on them and maybe to help to perform this uh, these events so that is how Jim gets aware of the current uh, current 
company to customer uh, interaction uh, based on the time uh, based on information on the timeline and also to overview what are the activities that are scheduled regarding uh, this uh, regarding the customers of the company if we talk about the domain now GM is responsible for sales so that is a kind of sales team for him but before sales there is a contiguous domain of the lead generation team so Jim is able to um, configure the kind of a dashlet on his dashboard that shows him uh, what to expect from the team from the lead generation team and also is able to focus on those events that shows if uh, the agreements have been uh, achieved with uh, the customers of his sales team or with his sales team if those agreements uh, um, if there are any issues regarding uh, these agreements for example the issues with the delivery or some kind of SLA has been broken so that is how he is able to focus on these events by selecting these events on the dashboard and uh, also to get details of this event directly from this interface and to initiate the collaboration with the corresponding people from that domain just to help to figure out what happened and to fix the situation improving the relationship with the, with the clients below there is a kind of statistics that shows uh, what are the key events uh, inside the CRM just to be able to focus on the particular events if uh, Jim would like to see the details he just used the click in, in in the report and to get information get details directly uh, from uh, the report so that is how Jim gets aware about the current status of the interaction between uh, between the company and the customers uh, which includes the key events that happened with the customers and also the future events that are uh, that his team is planned to do with with the customer as i've said jim is not only the the sales team manager he's also a sales representative salesperson so his analysis continues with analysis uh, of his domain of responsibility as a sales guy so he switches to the personal dashboard that shows him the status of uh, of his sales as a salesperson and what is important for him is to understand whether any issues or any changes had been happened with those accounts uh, who he's responsible for but especially he would like to focus on those accounts uh, that has the open opportunities so that for for this purpose Jim uh, uses the dashlet uh, that shows the key events related to the accounts with open opportunities. For that, he is able to configure this dashlet quite easily by using the kind of report that selects the account with open opportunities. So that is how he selects the target for uh, this dashlet, and this dashlet shows just those key events that are related to those accounts and from this perspective he is able to see any changes have been made to these uh, accounts and also issues that happened you know the key events that are related to them including uh, additional notes with ability to have a look at them and ability to discuss it with the teammates also his teammates is able to inquire him in in case they would like to help Jim to do his work better uh, in, in his as a salesperson so <clears throat> all the key events that are represented on the timeline could be reported for example for Jim uh, he would like to overview here 
the events for the last 30 days about those accounts that have opened opportunities. So from this listing, he is able to read the details while the report provides him with the capability to overview and to focus on the particular types of events and with the drill down capabilities to hear this information that uh, that was hidden from him without these uh, key events. When Jim is aware of the recent event that matter for him in terms of developing his personal sales, he's, uh, he goes to checking the planned activities regarding uh, of his like a salesperson. For that, he, he uses the uh, list of the planned actions that shows what is what uh, what he has to do with uh, his accounts uh, for the next periods. From this perspective, he see that it could be uh, the calls he has to do. So the the, the call has been scheduled uh, in in his schedule, and also there could be some events like on time processing of the leads. So that is how the system will let him know regarding these future events, helping to focus on activities and uh, on priority activities he has to perform to reach the, the sales goals as the salesperson. On the right side, there is uh, the report that shows the structure of these planned actions, uh, which will which would help him uh, to clarify the particular type of uh, future actions. So that is how Jim gets aware fast regarding the current status of uh, his of, of his sales based on uh, the timeline of. Uh, represented inside this CRM and key events he is able to put in front of his table, in front of his view, and also the future events he is going to participate. So that is how he get the whole and solid picture on the sales. Um, while performing as a sales guy, while analyzing uh, the current status of sales, uh, Jim, as a sales guy, is quite often interrupted uh, by the incoming phone call. In this case, he used the out-of-the-box search capabilities of Sugar just to find uh, the appropriate company, appropriate caller. And thanks to that, uh, he's able to open quickly the card of the caller and where the customer journey is able to get uh, to understand the current status of the development of this account. Uh, so from this perspective, we see that currently uh, this account on the quarter two, uh, quarter two uh, planning, uh, planning stage. And on the right side, the dashlet, the context dashlet, of the event management suite shows him the events that um, take effect on customer experience. So Jim is able to configure this dashboard just to focus on, on those activities fast. For example, it could be activities that shows him that there is a high priority product case have been registered or there are delivery issues. And with this information, Jim is, is prepared for the incoming call very fast. In addition to that, he is able to overview the need to do activities uh, and to help to improve relationship with the customer by uh, showing that he is aware not just about uh, the current issues, current state of the current state of development, but also of the customer, but also regarding the upcoming activities. And that is how uh, how Jim can help his teammates also, because the Will Weston have a scheduled meeting with Sugarman or company. So, and is able to discuss maybe this during the call, or even to discuss the revenue line item close date 
a worthy customer. So that is how Jim gets the whole picture in a seconds, and this picture consists of both the key events, historical key events that matter for, for discussing uh, discussing uh, with, the, with the customer, and also the future events that have to be that are assigned to this customer. When it comes to when it comes to um, the list, working with the list of accounts, we can switch to the list of accounts here. The same approach of using uh, key events and need to do events works for the for the portfolio of accounts. So on the right side. On the events management suite dashlet, there are dash, uh, dashboard, there are dashlets that shows what is needed to do with the accounts portfolio. And also, when we change this accounts portfolio, for my accounts, for example, this data automatically refreshes just to show me, show Jim, what are the need to do events regarding this portfolio of accounts? That is the future. Uh, that is the future activities that have to be performed uh, uh, by the GM and also by his teammates regarding this portfolio. It is able also for to focus on some particular types of uh, future activities. For example, the quotes validity to monitor. It's quite easily to do that with configuring the dashlets, just selecting the type of particular event. We'll talk about uh, uh, about collecting these events a little bit later. This is the part that shows the future. When we switch to the timeline here, we get the past on the left and future on the right. That helps to get the whole picture of uh, the future and the past regarding the accounts portfolio. And also, the search capabilities have to focus on particular events, either on past or future. So if you'd like to see the meetings here, um, I can just filter them here and have a look at details, getting in a second the information regarding the participants, and maybe the results of this meeting. So that is how working with portfolio of accounts become easy. There is no need to go through sub-panels, to go through the history uh, of, that is uh, on different sub-panels inside Sugar. You can get it in from one side, just using the timeline view and need to do view of the event management suite. The same approach working with uh, the portfolio uh, and with the records work for uh, other modules inside the CRM. So we switch to the opportunities module, for example, on the right side, uh, the user can um, configure focusing on the other types of events. For example, if he would like to see uh, the role, the, the revenue line items uh, moved backward uh, events, so just configure this dashlet by, by selecting these types of events. And these are the events that are related to this portfolio. So if, if Jim selects my opportunities, so he will get on the right side in the context, in the context of the list of uh, the events related to this list of opportunities recently created. Okay, no recently created, no backward uh, revenue line item. N no revenue line item moved backward. However, for the favorites, there are some. Nope. Okay, for the all opportunities. Okay. If we talk about the leads, the same work for leads, so you can define the key events and also define the need to do events to track for the leads module. Uh, for the leads module, you can even add your own custom control date, like processing due date, 
and make control of this date using the need to do viewer. For that, you just define the criteria and it will show you how to make it in order to get this picture of the future events regarding the portfolio of the leads and also for the particular lead. So if we go to, uh, if it comes to the configuration, how to get this uh, need to do event in, uh, in, in the context dashlet, this is configured inside the CRM. So you have the need to do event types. You can configure them yourself. For example, lead processing due date, which is configured to control the processing due date that is which is custom field for the leads module. Or for example, it could be, um, could be any other, like reactivate opportunity or task should be started. Let's have a look that how, how it looks like. Selecting tasks should be completed. So uh, what you need is to define uh, the criteria, the, the first the module you would like to track and the date you would like to track. And after that, to set up the object uh, for uh, the criteria for selecting the object that should be tracked, for example, the tasks that are not completed or uh, deferred or not applicable. And also set up the targets you would like to see the references to in the context of this event. Uh, and also uh, the information you see on the, dash on the dashboard, it is provided by uh, the template, which could be also defined, configured inside the CRM uh, by the administrator. So in, uh, that is in case the high priority task it, sh it will be um, highlighted with the red color. Or for example, in case you're working with a meeting, you would like to see inside the meeting the information regarding the location of this meeting. You are able to make it and also to define uh, even the search inside the Google automatically. So whenever you click uh, into the link, to the link of the location, you will get the information regarding where this place is located. So that is how you can configure collecting of need to do events and uh, how you can make it uh, useful for the end user just to save time on clarifying what should be done. When we talk about uh, working with the key events on the timeline and working with the need to do events, future events, uh, these two parts helps to uh, prepare for the meetings, for the manager's meetings. So if the kind of the team meeting has to be, um, if the team meeting has to, to is scheduled, so the gym as a sales manager is able to prepare for this meeting using the data that is uh, usually hidden inside the CRM, but where the key events and where the need to do events, it can use the reports that will show him what are focus, uh, would help to focus uh, on those events that uh, needs his attention during the team meeting. For example, those could be the events that take effect on customer experience and events that shows if his team develops opportunities well. For that, he just able to prepare the reports that provides him with a list of uh, key events in the context of his teammates and those events could be like uh, SLA was broken or delivery was the issues or revenue line item moved backward and with a click uh, to the um, uh, report, he's able to have a look at the details. So that is how he get the key events that matter for discussing uh, during the team meeting. And on the left side, there is a need to do events by teammates for next seven days. So here is the important past and here is the important future. 
So you can see from here that uh, both the events that are related to the regular calendar, like uh, meetings scheduled and calls scheduled, but also uh, we have here the events that are related to the data, like lead processing due date or opportunity expected close date. Uh, so those data for this information helps to processing the, the the information on time inside CRM. So that should be uh, an element of uh, the discussion during this um, team meeting. Obviously, you can see from here that a lot of leads processing is scheduled for uh, for the gym. So a gym is a manager, so it should be maybe uh, assigned to another person. So what is information about the important past and, and information about the future? Uh, Jim gets just the half of the information, as a matter of fact, because that is uh, how he can manage uh, the leads, for example, that his, his team take care about. But what about unattended leads? They're not here. So in order to, uh, to get the whole picture, leverage uh, the advanced reporting system and build a report that shows who are those unattended leads, those unattended leads that, that doesn't have uh, the timeline events for the seven days or for the 30 days. So, and also, they don't have any planned activity for the future, just the due activities. So I would treat and Jim would treat those uh, leads as leads that fell out of the radar. So with this information about uh, the unattended leads and about the, about the leads uh, that are still in the radar, Jim can run can hold the team meeting so what we get with this obviously what you get you get um, awareness where the timeline and need to do viewer with the event management suite awareness you're able to see the plans and changes where you need it. What you get as well, you get time saving because because easy uh, because you get the easy and quick access without digging into data. And also you get flexibility because you are able to configure your custom events. Um, now if you have questions, you're welcome. Okay, there are no questions so far. Let me switch to the presentation view. Yeah, okay. Okay, then uh, if you have any, if you if you will have any questions, you can always rely on our help. Uh, please drop me a line. I would I would happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time. Again, goodbye.